Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont and I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, including PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose. And one thing Angela talks about in the book are animations. And animations are a little bit challenging, uh, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty easy to use them. But here's a, here's a problem that often comes up. Let's say that we have a slide here. This is an overview slide and I want to animate everything on this screen. So I want to animate um, this picture in the caption and then also these, uh, these bullet points over here to appear. In sequence, and that's easy enough to do. So let's do the let's do the uh, picture and the caption first. So you have to select the picture, and you have to select the caption separately. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm holding down the uh, the Alt key and pressing the pressing the the uh, the box that holds the caption. So they're selected together. And then I'm just going to go to animations, the animations tab or the the tool the uh, ribbon interface, and I'm going to select a checkerboard. So you can see that's that's going to be the first thing that animates and then I'm going to go over here to the bullet area select the box that holds it and I'm going to click fly in okay so let's preview and see what this looks like first the picture will appear and then the bullets will appear in sequence as I'm pressing the the button or the clicker or the pointer or whatever you're using to advance the slideshow but let's say that I want to do something a little bit different instead of having the picture appear first, I want the picture to appear at the same time the first bullet appears, which is business goals. And to make that change, what you have to do is you have to move around some of the animations using the animations pane, and then you have to change the, the timing effects. And let's actually see what that looks like. So right now we have the uh, picture and the and the uh, the caption, and then we have the content placeholder that's holding the bullets. And you can, if you click that little triangle, it'll show you what else is there. So here are the full bullet, here are the uh, the three bullets, and next to it is a number showing how it animates in order. So what I want to do is actually highlight these two, picture five, and then uh, the 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 caption, and I'm going to drag it below business goals. Okay, now. Let's take a look and actually this needs to move as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see see what happens when we animate, when we uh, view this in real time. Okay, so when I open up the slide overview, I press the button once, the clicker once. So the first bullet came up, then the picture comes up, and then the second bullet and the third bullet. That's that's not quite what I want. What that's not quite what I want. I actually want this to appear as the same time as business goals. So you have to do one more step. So right now you can see here's in here are all the here are all the uh, the triggers for the different things and when they'll come in in order. What I want to do is for picture five and the Nadia McCarthy COO the caption. I want to highlight them. Then I want to go to timing. And right now, there's nothing there. Sometimes it'll say on click. Actually, let's just take a look at that. So for the for the picture, it says on click. What I want to do is set it up so it's with previous. What this means is that the picture will show up as the same time business goals shows up, the first bullet, okay? And then this one automatically is set up to be with previous. But then for the next one, marketing goals, it's on click. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So go to slideshow, whoops, press play from current slide. All right, so here we have our blank slide overview. Check it out. So uh, the picture and the caption appeared at the same time as the first bullet, then the second bullet, then the third bullet. And you know, if you wanted to, you could move stuff around. So let's say the picture and the caption, they appear at the same, they appear as at the same time as the uh, the, the second bullet. So you can start to move things around at, and get it the way that you want. But the key thing is, is you have to adjust the timing. And usually by default, it's on click. That means you'll see this image or this bullet or this text or whatever when you click on it, like sales goals is on click. But what you want to reset it to, if you want it to play with the previous thing, is you select with previous. And it will go at the same time. For more information on how to get the most out of PowerPoint, check out our book, PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. We also have lots of helpful videos and tutorials there. Uh, check it out, and thank you so much for watching.